hey, I'm a little early. I want to get people tagged and I want to find myself on my computer so that I can answer questions as we go along. So let me get my friends tagged. And look for myself. Man, a lot of people are active right now. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. It's hot here. I to turn my AC on. I think that's it. Okay, I'm gonna go find myself over here. We're a little early. Um, I wanted to make sure that we're all set and ready to go because this is a fun cup. I've even actually started the other half so that I can uh, move on and make sure that you guys know um, what to do next before next week. Good morning, uh, afternoon, sorry about that. I'm gonna find myself got my computer on in here. I want to be able to answer your questions as we go along. Ooh, Stephanie's been playing with molds. You guys need to go watch Stephanie's molds. Found me. I always look so angry. Good uh, afternoon. Sorry about that. And... Uh, so, this is going to be a fun one. Hi, guys. How are you? We are going to be making the leather cup today for leather and lace. This is the leather cup. And, guys, I am... Hi, Ms. Kim. I miss you, too. I was going to call you later on. I need to talk to you about something. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this portion and sh tell you what you need in order to epoxy it so that you can... Um, do this in the next week when we add the lace to it, you'll be ready to go. And I haven't decided yet, I just knocked my phone off, thing. if I want to do real lace or cut it out and leave it there for you guys. Um, I guess, well, what do you guys want? Do y'all want real lace or do you want me to cut it out of a, a vinyl? Um, if I cut it out of vinyl, of course, I'll share the, um, the SVG with you guys. But this right here, believe it or not, when I show you how I made this, you're gonna go, what? You did what? I did a lot of research and the person that I liked the most did this on a chair. Um, she pointed out a little bit that she was doing it also on um, book covers. So if you wanna do this on a um, piece of cardboard, you can make a book cover out of it. But we're going to do it on a cup. I have started it because I wanna be able to move on and do the next step for you guys. But we are going to do this half right here. Real lace, yeah, I think that would be full, really cool too. It's a matter of finding what I want. You know, nothing's out there right now. So I'm gonna bring you down and I'm gonna show you everything that you will need in order to do this cup. All right, so I've shown you the cup. This is one of the, the kids' cups. I don't think she has these in stock. I will find out for you for sure, but... Um, this was the one that I had available to do, and this is the one that I'm going to give away. I'm not gonna give this one away. I wanna keep this one. Um, so, of course, you'll need a cup. You'll need two different colors of, um, this is acrylic paint. I used brown. This is called Burnt Sienna. And I used another one, and I have been looking for it since I used it, but I want to say, it's this yellow right here. Um, I only use the lighter color sporadically i don't like to use it all over but i don't like for the cup just to be brown so here's the fun part you are going to need to get and you can get it at the dollar tree because you know how i like the dollar tree tissue paper that's all it is and you crumple it up this would be fun for your kids to do hey kids come do this for me um tissue paper tissue paper crumple it up crumple it up Oh, here it is. Found it. It is called Starlight Gold. That's the yellow that I used. You can use whatever you want. Black and gray, purple and pink, whatever you decide you want your leather to look like. I'm going to crumple up all of your tissue paper. And this is how you start it. Um, I have my 
paintbrush and some alcohol over here. Hey, Gigi. Miss Goldie has joined us. Hello, Miss Stephanie. You know, um, Tammy, I can do both. It doesn't, it really doesn't bother me to do both. I can do a, um, an SVG for you guys who would prefer to have the vinyl. And um, Stephanie and I have discussed it and we're looking for specific um, lace. There's a, just a kind that we really want. Okay, so really seriously guys, it's all it is, is paint. There's no glue. It's paint and tissue paper, that's all it is. And I said the same thing you're saying right now. What? I have that in my house. Think about this with Christmas. I mean, you could use Christmas colors, you could use Christmas tissue paper, whatever it is that you have been wanting to use, okay? This is just tissue paper that I've crinkled up, little bits, big bits, but you're gonna tear it up. This is part of my last little set. And all you're going to do, are you ready? Is you're going to take your paint, whatever your color, I like to mix them. You're going to put a little paint on your cup, just like this. I'm gonna bring you closer so you can see what I'm doing. Put a paint on my cup and then I take the tissue and I put it on the cup over the paint. Now I like to go above the cup, right here. You can see I like to go above the cup. You do not have to, it depends on how you decide you wanna do it. Pat it down, do not rub it. You want this texture in here, guys. You want this texture, same with the brush. Now you're gonna go back to your paint and you're gonna pat it down on top of this. And that's where your texture of your leather is going to come in. And the glue, the paint is what's going to keep it sticking to the cup. And that is how you do it, just like that. And it keeps that texture in there by patting it down. Okay, I'm up at some under here. I didn't get the tissue wet underneath. I need to do that because that's what makes the tissue stick to the cup. If you do not do this, your tissue will come up. It's okay that there's lines. You want there to be lines. You don't want it to tear. You also don't want there to be any kind of bubbles underneath. Thank you, Ms. Diana. I told you I was playing. I had to figure out something. I've already figured out something new to share with you for the next time. I'm not gonna tell you yet what it is. You're gonna have to wait. Tear your paper, just like this. Now, Diana, imagine this in red, white, and blue. Now, you have been challenged. Lay your paper down on top of your paint and pat it down. That's all you do. You want the lines, you want the texture. Now the great part about this is, I did this part right here 20 minutes before I went live and I sprayed it with, um, I used my um, heat gun and dried it off. So you could go from one thing directly to another or you can put it on your drying rack like I did with my other one and just let it dry overnight. It depends on how fast you wanna get this done. Again, just a little bit of paint, doesn't matter what kind. Tissue paper, smack that on there. Literally, you wanna smack it on because you do not want your um, lines to come out. You want that texture in there. All right, next, put that on there. Take your paint and pat it on. Oop, I got some stuff on it over here. I don't want that there doesn't take much of the uh, tissue paper too is what I like about it. You can have a bunch of tissue paper and make a bunch of cups. Okay, this is already painted. I'm going to stick my paper down on it. That's okay, that's okay. Really, Jennifer, we are only doing the beginning part. I have acrylic paint and um, Tissue paper, that's all there is to it. That's what makes that leather look. 
And you can pat it down more as it dries. It'll start lifting and putting bubbles underneath. That's okay. You want it to get a little wet so you can lay it down a little more. By patting it like this, you're gonna get more to get more of the, I don't know if you can see it, but as I'm doing this, the brush is lifting and it's giving some texture to the paint. Move on to this side right here. I mean, it goes so fast. It's so amazing how fast this goes. Tear your tissue, add your paint. No glue needed. Stick it on here. In fact, I'm gonna put a little underneath so I can get it to go over the top. Get it to go over the top. You can do this in black and white. So you can have the, um, the black and white dairy cows. I don't remember what those are called. But I have two different colors going here because when I did it in one color, it was kind of not pretty, in my opinion. So I added a little extra to it. Add it to the bottom. Okay, move it over. Tear some more. And guys, that's it. I've already covered the entire thing in tissue. There's some spots right here that I think I wanna go ahead and fill though, because it looks like it needs to be. guys, that's how easy it is. That's just how easy it is. I'm not moving it around. If you start moving it around, your brush will start tearing your paper. You don't want to do that. Of course, the tears in it wouldn't be too, too bad because you do have that texture in there, but I find that by patting it down, it looks more authentic. But however you decide to do it, it's your leather. If you want it to be flat leather, like patent leather, that would be great. I bet that would look just as good at my bottom. And it's just that easy, guys. This is the leather portion. Now I'm gonna show you on the other side, I have already, I'm gonna go try to dry a little bit of this just so I don't get it messed up with. I'm gonna go behind me, but this is all it is right there. And I'm gonna dry it a little bit. Be right back. I've got my embossing done over here. Hello, Miss Kirsten. Hi, Joseph. We're making our leather. You're a little, little late, but that's okay. I'm drying it up a little bit. All we used was a little bit of um, acrylic paint and we crumpled up tissue paper. And I'm just drying it a little bit so I don't mess it up. We'll move on to the next. So this is where we are right here. And we're gonna let this dry a bit, clean my mess up, and we're gonna move on. To the next step. Now, <clears throat> depending on the size cup you use and what you decide you want to um, do to it, it may take a little longer. Since this is a quick tutorial, I went ahead about it and did it a little quicker. So my next step will be, hmm, I'll find a place to put this so it will stay straight up. Oh. I'm about to do my cup, my bowl 
like Stephanie's and I've got my thing over here ready to go. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to need our um, makeup sponge and whatever alcohol inks that you want. And of course, you're going to need your gloves because alcohol inks on hands are not that gorgeous, in my opinion. Let me show you one more time what we're doing. We're going to dab, dab, dab. Make sure that there's some different colors in there for when we put this on. I, uh, Stephanie, I've got it on the floor. I tried to move it a second ago. It's already hardening, guys. I got in the new um, Perfect 25 epoxy and I'm trying it on the mold. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see how soon I can, can put it on top of the, um, the, the cup. Um, anyway, so I have mushroom, teak wood, and espresso. I may or may not use them all, but here's what you have to do. Normally, you would cut this but we don't wanna cut it, we wanna tear it because we wanna make sure it's going to have lots of different, I say that and I'm being all kinds of wimpy. We're gonna tear it so we have all kinds of texture. So we now have two different ones with texture and a torn glove, put on another glove. I'm serious guys, I cannot handle alcohol ink on my nails. I obsess over it until it's all gone. So, anyway, we're gonna make sure that you tear it so you're gonna get this texture. I don't know if you can see the texture, but that's what we're doing next. Um, I'm gonna keep this on here for, for now. No, nope. well, for right now. Um, I think we're gonna start with espresso. This is a good brown, it's darker. Another thing I need to tell you you're gonna need, you're gonna need a little bit of alcohol because at times it may get too dark you need to calm it down a little bit. The only way you'll be able to do it is with alcohol. Dab, dab, dab your alcohol glue onto your makeup sponge. Your alcohol ink, not the glue. This is the side I did already for you guys. And you're gonna just tap it on, just like this. You want to tap it on, you don't want to rub it on and you want to do it sporadically. You don't want it to be all one color because if it's all one color, then you're not gonna have the look of leather. Again, I'm using espresso right now. This is on my dry side. The other side is still a little wet. And this is what's gonna give it that Diff the different colored textures, the different colors so that you can see it look a little bit like fine leather. That's all I'm doing. So who all's ready to get off and go make their leather cup? Raise your hand. I'm gonna do a little bit more with this. The next thing you're going to do after this is you're going to seal it, seal it, seal it, seal it, seal it. If you decide you wanna use um, Mod Podge, you can. I would say if you decide to use Mod Podge, it's just kind of like using the, um, doing the cups with the, the book paper. You want to make sure that you seal it really, really well, because if you don't, epoxy's gonna get up underneath this and it's not gonna be as pretty. All right, I'm gonna open up the teak wood, add a little bit of that, same sponge, it's not gonna make a difference. Add a little bit of teak wood. This is gonna give it that caramely look right there. Add that all the way around. So far, I'm not needing to use my alcohol, but there's the different colors of alcohol inks. I love this teak wood on this. It's so pretty. It's very rich looking. Very expensive looking. And remember, this one is going to be going out as a prize, but I'm not going to do it until you come back and watch the second part of the, the tutorial because that's the way I roll. 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and give some to the bottom. Make sure you get your corners and you wanna make sure you get the top. Remember, I have mine going over the top, so I wanna make sure I get up in there. And what I did was, now this has been sanded, but I just, just did your normal cutting off the, uh, the additional epoxy and everything with my X-Acto knife. And then I used my sand paper to sand down the top before I put my next epoxy left, uh, on it so that it is more level and clean. Diana, if you can get this done with the tacket, are you gonna do this with the tacket or you're about to attempt to do the tacket? Because if you do this, then you're gonna to need to come on and show everybody how you did it. I love how this teak wood looks on here. You can see a little bit of the paper's coming up. That's okay, because when you seal it, it will seal down. But you need to make sure this is completely dry before you put any brushes over the top of it, because if you decide to put your brush over it while it's wet, it's going to either flatten it out or pull that tape up, pull that um, paper up. What do you think, guys? Easy peasy? Is it harder, is it easier than you thought I was gonna make it? Look, it's already dry. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and work on this side too. That way, just tap, tap, tap it on. I will tell you that you don't want there to be any thick paper over the edge because you will have little clumps and you'll have to fight them. This is what I'm talking about. Um, right there, I don't know if you can see it. There's a little clump of paper right there, so I'm gonna have to sand that down a little bit. It's so easy, Barb. It's so much easier than you guys were gonna think it was gonna be. I know you all thought it was gonna be hard, but when have I ever shown you anything that's too hard for everybody to do? Put a little more teak wood, then I'm gonna move back to the espresso on this side. Super duper easy. And guys, it, it epoxies beautifully like anything else, but make sure that you seal it, seal it, seal it. I'm saying that three times, guys. It's that important. It's requiring three, being said three times. This is the other side of that sponge that I tore. Get a little bit of different coloring. You see how fast that paint dried? Get a little bit of teak wood on here. Nope, that's espresso. I've been using teak wood. Let's do some espresso. A little darker. Like you do not have to use teak wood and espresso. You can also use mushroom. You can also use all the other colors that you have. If you decide you want to do a black one, use your uh, midnight black and maybe a little bit of gray or gunmetal. If you decide you want to do it black and white, um, just be careful where you put your alcohol inks because you want to make sure that that white is going to come out. I don't know if you can tell right there, the paper's coming up a little bit. So this is the reason you're gonna wanna make sure that it's sealed really well, because if that alcohol, if that um, epoxy gets up underneath it, it's just not gonna look the same. A little bit more, this is the teak wood. I just think it looks so nice on this. there bottom and it changes you know when you do your um, your galaxies and as it goes along it changes this is what I'm talking about it doesn't stay that texture but look at the texture that it turned to underneath that epoxy right there I don't know if you could see it 
the light, but that's how it changes. Under that epoxy, it becomes real suede looking. So that's why you need to make sure that you have several different colors on the tissue so that when you put your epoxy on it, it's gonna give you that suede look. You don't want it to be one solid color. There's the part right there. I'm probably gonna add a little more paint to that just to be on the safe side. But I will be sealing this. If you decide you wanna seal it with um, Mod Podge, make sure that you put about three or four coats drying in between. I will probably do two coats and then I'm probably gonna spray it with my diamond sealer just to seal it really, really well. And then I'll let it sit overnight before I put my epoxy on it. Hi, Angela. Yes, all that is is crumpled up tissue. Like this right here. It's just crumpled up tissue that I put, um, that I put uh, originally, I did my acrylic paint and the paint is what's making it stick to the cup. And then after the paint dried, we pulled out our alcohol inks and we used a makeup sponge. This is the mushroom. I just wanna see what it looks like just because I can. Um, and then I just dab on my alcohol inks. I'm gonna give this a while to dry. And then I will add some sealer depending on what you decide you want to seal it with but you want it to have this texture guys it doesn't look great at first but you want it to have that deep wrinkled texture because it looks phenomenal underneath epoxy all right so i'm gonna let this dry before i start messing with it anymore anyone have any questions for me i'm gonna put this back in here let it set Close these up. And now my hands are hot, so I'm gonna take my gloves off and chit chat with you guys a little bit before we go. See if there's anyone that has any questions for me. I mean, guys, that's the leather part of the leather and lace. It's so easy. I have been chomping at the bit to show that to you. You can ask Stephanie, I'm talking to her about it. And I have been wanting to show this to you because I did it the day that I'd said that I wanted to do um, uh, wanted to do the leather and lace, but <laughs> I hadn't researched it yet. And so I was going to figure it out for you guys. And um, when I saw how easy it was and how, how everybody has pretty much everything to make it already, um, there's so many different versions that you can do. You can do the black and white cows. Um, you can do the... I wouldn't, no, Angela, I wouldn't, because that's what I used the, the brown to put the tissue on because I wanted the brown to show through. I, you can try it. I'm not gonna tell you yes or no because I didn't do it that way. When I did my research, this is the way they showed us to do it, was to use the paint to put the tissue on and then put the paint back on top of it. And it stays great. It doesn't come off. It actually gets fairly hard when you put it on and then that's the, the tissue look there. You can see it there. You can see what all of that does. And the, 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 so the paint's gonna come up through the tissue as well, and it's gonna give it that, um, the, the darker looks as well. I'm going to, Stephanie, I'm going to probably overnight, just to be on the safe side, because it is tissue and it isn't put down with glue, it's put down with, with paint. So when you feel it, you'll feel that it is fairly hard the paint dries really, really well, but I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to brush Mod Podge on it um, while it's still wet because you went from wet paint to dry tissue to wet paint to dry to wet epoxy ink. Excuse me, uh, wet uh, alcohol ink. So now I've got to let it dry completely. I don't want to, um, to mess with it too quickly. No problem. And Angela, if it works for you, I think that's great. I'm just going by... Um, the lady did this on a chair. It was so awesome looking. She did it on the seat of a chair. And um, she just sealed her. She didn't even use uh, uh, epoxy on top of it, but she did seal it really, really well with a sealer. Um, then she went on and showed us that she had taken um, pieces of cardboard and she wanted to make her own book cover. She wanted to make her own journal cover and that's what she put it on was that cardboard. So um, I thought if you can put it on cardboard and you can put it on a seat, you can put it on a cup. So that's what I did. So anyway, if you decide you want to follow along with me, 
after this is done, it dries, you sealed it, sealed it, sealed it, spray sealed it, whatever you decide you wanna do, you need to make sure it's super duper sealed because you don't want anything to get up underneath it. Come back next week and I will have the, um, the lace put up for you on, in our file. And then I will, um, I've had somebody request that we use real lace. So we're gonna go ahead and use real lace on it to show you how to stick it. And then you're gonna, you're gonna do another couple of layers of epoxy. This is only one layer of epoxy, guys. One layer. You don't want multiple layers, okay? Because once you put your, your um, lace on it, you're going to stick the lace, then you're going to epoxy, and then it's going to be like when you do your um, zippers or whatever. You need to make sure that you put stuff over the top of it so that it m meshes in, which is why I'm thinking that the vinyl would probably work best but remember, y'all are gonna to wanna to do reverse weeding on that. So come back next week for the private word, the perfect word, the, the word that we're gonna give out to do the, um, the drawing, and somebody's gonna win that cup, and I've got a couple of fun things to give away as well. Um, we have lots of things coming up in the next couple of weeks that you guys want to be here for, so make sure to invite your friends over. All of those friends that are in your other groups, make sure to let them know that they need to come over here and um, like our page because we have lots of new faces coming up in the next couple of weeks and months and lots of stuff going on with Instagram and lots of stuff going on with uh, YouTube and lots of things going on here on Facebook and we don't want you to miss it and we don't want your friends to miss it. So have them come on over. So I, yeah, Bethany, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I love that name, Bethany. Anyway, this is where we are right here. All right, and we're gonna let this dry and then we're going to, don't drop it, epoxy, and move on to the next step. So I hope that you guys are excited about it as I am. So we will see you next Tuesday and um, hope you have a fantastic week. Stay, it is 100 degrees outside, so I want you all to stay, um, oh, Rusty, you missed it. Um, I want you to stay nice and cool and safe out there. So bye guys and have a great day. Take care. Bye.